So uh, my name is Greg Sito, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow um, with uh, Professor Daryl Irvine um, in the departments of material science, biological engineering, and also the Koch Institute. So in the Irvine lab, uh, we're interested in the intersection of engineering and biology, as many groups are at MIT, but specifically we're interested in leveraging the power of the immune system to solve a number of uh, issues in human disease. So by definition, um, in order for a cancer to grow, its cells must escape the mechanisms the immune system has to destroy uh, defective cells. And cancer cells are um, mutated defective cells. So the immune system is critical in um, helping to control cancer or in um, the bad case or the negative case um, in actually helping cancer to allowing cancer to progress. Um, so uh, the drugs that we deliver are drugs that are aimed at trying to um, help block the spread of cancer, the process known as metastasis. Um, this is typically uh, the most fatal um, process that uh, cancer um, ends up with, and the lungs are a prime target uh, for this actual um, progression of cancer. And the idea would be that um, if we put these particles into the lungs, um, before cancer has started to spread, or uh, when cancer is still trying to establish itself in the lungs, um, we can provide the immune system with an advantage to reject the cancer. And so so um, the image that I made is actually um, a confocal microscopy image. It's um, a Z projection or a stack of the entire lungs from a mouse in which I've actually instilled through the trachea um, an inhalation preparation of uh, drug delivery microparticles, and that's what's seen in red. Um, so cancer can um, spread anywhere throughout the lungs, so it's really important to have good coverage throughout the organ. And when assessing the initial um, design of a system, we want to know where our drugs can actually penetrate, how far throughout the lungs can they penetrate. And what this is actually showing is that um, the red particles can actually get inspired um, through the trachea uh, to a large part of the lung um, spread throughout a number of the lobes. So in the long term, um, we're hoping to utilize drugs that um, are currently undeliverable or minimally deliverable to people and actually uh, show that they are usable um, in animal models and then hopefully move that in, um, into something more clinical. So I think um, two things motivate me uh, in my pursuit of research and the kinds of questions that I ask in my research. And one is an inherent interest in the biology and the complexity of the immune system and um, almost being a little audacious and thinking that I could potentially carve out a piece of that puzzle and actually model it and control it in a predictable way. Um, and then the other part is obviously very, very practical. Um, things like cancer, infectious diseases and vaccines, engineering, um, as applied to these conditions and these problems is very pertinent um, for all of society and for myself, for my loved ones. Um, and I think cancer is something that touches all of us inevitably through time. And so the more tools we have in our toolbox, the better off we will be.